What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to save your custom titles inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. I've put out a lot of tutorials on how to make custom titles, whether it's lower thirds or across the whole screen, whatever it is, I've made a bunch and you guys have absolutely loved them. But the number one request I've constantly been getting is how do I save this so I can use it across multiple projects and not have to rebuild this every time. So I'm going to show you guys three different ways to save a custom title inside DaVinci Resolve so you can use that across multiple projects. So without further ado, let's jump inside DaVinci Resolve resolve and we'll go from there so the first way I'm going to show you guys to do this is pretty simple and it's all done inside the editing page um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the effects library and we are gonna go to titles right here under the toolbox tab you normally are gonna have some built-in ones even in the free version I'm just gonna grab the lower left third title and I'm gonna drop it on top of it uh, something very simple over on the right, if you don't see this, make sure your inspector tab is open. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna change the title to what I want it to say. That looks good. Then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna find a text that I like. I think that's fine. We'll do the same thing for the second one. We're just gonna adjust some sizes real quick. Make that a little bit bigger, adjust the tracking a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Whoa. Sometimes it's easier to grab the numbers to fine tune it. I'm also gonna mess with the tracking quite a bit. I'm gonna actually size that down. Uh, if you don't like the position of these right here, you can mess with it right here in this position on the second text. I'm just gonna move this over a little bit and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna jump into the video tab in the same inspector and I'm gonna actually just scale this whole thing down and I'm gonna drag it over here and I'm gonna bring this whole thing down kind of to the bottom a little bit. I might actually scale that up a little bit. Bring that back up and over right there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some keyframes. So under the video tab, we are gonna add a keyframe for this one on position and let's add one on rotation. Uh, we're gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six frames, uh, seven should be fine. And we're gonna add another keyframe on position and rotation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the very beginning and you can see these are already checked and now we can change them to make it a lot easier. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually move this over. Let me see, I'm gonna tilt that way up. And I'm gonna move it over so it's out of frame just like that. Play that through. It's a little choppy, so we're gonna zoom in here and we're gonna smooth this out. We're gonna click on this little line right here. We're gonna highlight both of these and we are gonna just smooth it out just like that. That way it kind of just eases in a little bit better. It looks just a little bit better in my opinion. I'm not gonna animate this out, but you can do the same thing that I did at the beginning to animate it out or just have it fade out, whatever you wanna do. Let's just say we want it to fade out. So what we're gonna do is we'll go right about here, should be fine. I'm gonna add a keyframe on opacity and then I'm gonna go to the end and I'm just gonna turn it down. And now it will just fade out on its own. And I think that looks fine. Now the easiest way to save this is by using power bins. I've done another video about power bins. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description below. Uh, definitely check that out. Power bins are awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the media pool right here. We're gonna go to the power bins tab. We're gonna click master. And then we are gonna go to just tutorial should be fine right here. Uh, I have a folder set up for it. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna drop it up in there. Now we can delete this one and we can grab this lower third and drop it right in here. And it saved all of our keyframes, everything is in there. And the cool thing about this is you can actually still click on this and you can still change stuff and make it way bigger if that's what you like. Um, it looks a little weird. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can still tweak with everything, change it, uh, you know, change the color, maybe add a drop shadow, a little bit of a blur. Let's just set that off a little bit. Maybe it needs a little bit of a shadow kick in there. And that looks, that looks better. Uh, you can do the same thing, jump to the video. You can tweak the keyframes that you did, but anytime you delete it, it's still gonna have that original one saved. And this will cross over to all your projects because power bins go across all projects. If we wanna rename that, we can just double click it and we can just name this left lower 
slide. Boom, you can drag that in. It'll work across every project you have. Let's say you want to do this a little bit more advanced, like inside Fusion, and you wanna create a custom title within there, like on some of the tutorials I've done. Well, the best way to do that is two different methods, and I'm gonna show you the first one right here. So the other way that you can save a title and use it multiple times later is within the Fusion tab. If you guys haven't seen this tutorial on how to create this custom title that you're seeing right here, uh, check the link above or in the description below. That's a really cool text and you can use it uh, multiple times after I show you how to save this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop inside the Fusion tab and here you can see I have everything already created from the last video I did on this. It changes color the titles pop up anyways that's not what we're talking about right now so what we need to do is I have all my nodes here from this I am gonna grab and highlight all of these and I am going to right click on media out or any of the nodes and I'm gonna go right up here to create macro from macro so macro create macro I'm gonna click it and then we're gonna bring this scary looking thing up and I know before you look at this and go dear god that is just terrifying which it is I know you just kind of have to isolate each character on its own the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this so I'm just gonna name this custom two and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start isolating these so I know I need the custom title right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the tab right there I am going to not worry about image right here and we're just gonna focus on the text just for this tutorial I am going to want to change the text uh, style font I'm also gonna hit style I'm gonna hit these three colors so you can kind of mess with the alpha channels uh, we're gonna mess with the size the character spacing clone we're also gonna mess with the vertical and we're also gonna mess with the horizontal and I think that's pretty good we're gonna isolate that down I'm don't think I need anything in there so we're gonna get rid of that transform you can again you can change as much as you want if you want to do shading you can add that in this text as well I don't need it so we're just gonna leave it alone so I'm gonna uncheck that and that's good to go you can see it does orange because that means it's ready to go now we're gonna mess with the title we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna ignore the image right now I'm gonna do this all these that I just did on the last one I also did the vertical and I also did the horizontal get rid of that minimize that now you can see we have both of those if we wanted to mess with the backgrounds we could also do those they are going to be in here just the same as they are out here they're gonna be ones at the top right here and we're also gonna have background one hidden right inside there you can go through change as much as you want in this I'm not really caring to do that all right now so we're just gonna ignore all this but I do recommend going through and tweaking and messing with these things and really finding out what each thing does that's really how you start to learn so let's just say that's good enough uh, I'm digging that color correction we can mess with that if we want uh, let's actually let's do a color correction hue and let's check the value and then let's do color correction and let's do the menu and color range uh, and uncheck that that's pretty good so what we're gonna do is we are just going to hit close it's gonna bring this up asking save changes to macro tool one we're gonna hit yes it's gonna be custom number two right here saving uh, don't worry about where it's saving it it's automatically gonna save it within resolve where it needs to be so we're just gonna hit save and there we go now if we want to bring this in what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop inside the edit thing again I am going to just copy this fusion tab right here we're gonna go back into fusion I'm gonna select all of these I'm gonna delete them I'm gonna hit shift spacebar and I'm gonna look for the one that I did I already have a custom test one in there because I was messing with a few things earlier but we are looking for custom two and it's right there we're gonna hit add we're gonna bring that right here and we are gonna connect that to our media out and you can see that is the whole text everything we did all the animations in there 
Now the only difference is we don't have everything that we had in the other because we saved it this way. If you added way more stuff in it, you could change it. Um, so like, let's just say we allowed color to be in that. So we maybe want, you know, the custom text to be green. And let's say we want that to be my name. So we'll just do Josh. And then we want this one to be Haynes. Let's say it's a little bit too big. So we need to size it down just a little bit. And let's say the tracking needs to be just a little bit closer. That looks pretty good. Maybe we want to make the tracking a little bit better there. That looks fine. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of different things. Let's say we don't like this text and we want to try something different. You can, but again, you got to be careful. If you don't check the tool that you need, uh, I can't bring that down because I didn't put that in my selection. So we'll just hit Command Z for now just to get back to normal. Uh, we'll change this just to a blue. That should be fine right there. And then if we hop back in the edit page, You've got the text right here all set up. This is probably the best way to save something if you're gonna be using it over and over and over again, and only maybe changing one or two things, or maybe you just wanna change the color or something else. It's really just a happy medium from setting up the basic text to having a more advanced one right here. If you're wanting to have complete control over your custom title you made, but you also wanna save that across multiple projects, the best way I found and the one way I've used the most is this way right here. So we have just our normal one. Let's say we just created it. Everything's looking good. We like it the way it is. We're going to hop back into the edit page, make sure everything's good. Yep, it's good. So what I like to do is actually drop this into our power windows. Power windows are so freaking awesome. We're gonna click on the tutorial folder that I made. I recommend when you're in the uh, power windows right here, you can right click and you can add a new bin. Uh, and I would do like fusion titles or something so you know what it is. Like I have my YouTube one, but I don't have anything in here at the moment. Things that you'd be using very frequently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the tutorial one. We're gonna grab this, drop it up in there. You can rename this, of course, anything you want. Fusion composition is fine right now. That That's fine for me. And again, this will go across multiple projects because it's using power bins. I prefer doing this method because if we bring it in here, let's get rid of that one. If we go inside the Fusion on top of that, you can see we have everything in here. We can tweak every possible thing we want. So this is really something that if you really need to start messing with things or you wanna copy something uh, or pull from something and create your own different style, whatever you're wanting to do, this is a completely different way to save it. Well, there you go, guys. That's three different ways to save your custom titles within DaVinci Resolve to use those across any project. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Let me know, did you learn something today? What some new tutorials are you want to see maybe coming out? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out. Peace.